What's good, guys? Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, but I did just get second at the last remote YCS, which was pretty crazy. Um, it did take a month for us to actually play in the event. So it's kind of interesting because I feel like there's a lot of changes I would have made for my deck um, now that I made even in the Pasadena YCS. So if you want to subscribe, I'm going to make a video tomorrow just talking about like the actual changes I make to the deck, but I'll also reference that a little bit here. Um, so one Archinos is Protos. Um, I've considered upping this card. It's just broken. Um, probably want to play Sword Soul without it. Three Ecclesia. Um, I set out one of these going first a lot, just because it's just an Ash Blossom that um, you can't really play if it gets ashed a lot of the time. Three Longyon. I um, think that's pretty staple. Two Taiye. Three Moye. I think these are just the uh, definitive best ratios now. Um, for the Tenyis, three Adhara, three Ashuna, three Bashuda. Uh, I think you, even more so, um, considering the new list, what, with the desk bot and everything, uh, which I think is very powerful since you don't have to normal summon. I think these max ratios are here to stay, and it's just, um, these kind of make the deck broken going second. And then for the hand traps, I actually decided to play two Nibiru, uh, which really was unfortunate in game one. I burst invoked. I had two of these, so it was useless. And um, other than that, it really helped me out in the Sword Soul Mirrors because it was unexpected. And when people started to know what I was playing, they started to do uh, Protos for Water. So it was really cool when they would shaman back the Moye or turn off their um, turn off their Baron. I would actually just Nibiru them after because uh, they went long on first. Um, one Effect Veiler, and three Impermanence. Uh, I think this card's getting a lot worse now, just because of uh, Circle and the Dust Bot. Just, there's a lot of outs to Imperm and the Sword Soul Mirror, so I don't think this card's actually stronger as Sword Soul anymore. But I also think Effect Veiler kind of sucks. I definitely would have played Ash now if I were to uh, go back, because that's just like such a great goal, uh, game one card. But I... I was just not sold on Ash for this event. I don't know. I, I don't really remember what was going through my mind, but I just really thought that card was bad because it's just not a floodgate. Like Nibiru has so much more power. This is just uh, budget maxi. So those are my thoughts for that. Um, I did play thirty nine cards, so one upstart goblin. Uh, I'm trying to bring this back. Pat's playing now, so I think um, it still makes sense. I don't. Uh, people hate it. I, I, there's there's it's interesting because people think this could just be a hand trap. But when Upstart was at three, hand traps were out, and you could have applied the same theory that Upstart could have been a hand trap, right? But I don't think that's a good justification to not play this. If we were able to play less than 40, we would in some circumstances. So um, I think this is one of those. Obviously, with the Dusk Bot, that's more cards. Three Pound of Desires, one Summit. I don't like this card anymore. Uh, I think it's really bad. Um, two Vessel and Two Circle. Did a whole video talking about the differences between these cards. Um, so pretty self-explanatory. Now with the Dusk Bot, this is the best card. This card becomes busted. So definitely a uh, three of in that build. Uh, and then three Emergence. Pretty stable. Pretty good. Oh, and a Blackout, of course. Uh, cited out a lot going second. Pretty much every time. Uh, one Yazi. Uh, staple, Boxias. I make two of these turn one all the time now. And I think a lot of Sword Soul players do too. And that's why it's gotten a lot harder for the Mirror because I feel like so many people have adapted and learned how to play this deck. So what are you going to do? Mirror's hard now. <laughs> uh, Cheek Shao, two of those. And Omega. Omega is really cool. I played Gamma on the side. But also, if you Protoss Light and then Chain Omega, you're not actually destroying anything. So that's some cool value. Uh, didn't actually come up. I think it's just too hard to do that play, but uh, it sounds good in theory. One Berserker, one Chaofeng. Trying to make this first every time. It's so good. Uh, Baron, Cheng Yang, Rudy Rose, three Monk. Um, I feel like you do need three Monk in any version of Sword Soul Tiny. One Shaman. So that's it for the extra. And then. For the side, we have three Cyframe Gear Gamma, one Driver. 
This was our particular tech for the bird matchup, but it's good versus invoked. It's good versus so many ducks going second right now. Uh, the one nib, clutch, I think nib was really good for this event, but at the last event, I actually didn't play it. Um, three Dark Ruler, I love this card. Um, I do hate not being able to OTK, but it just does so much for so little. I mean, the fact that you can't respond to it with monster effects and it doesn't have a cost like droplets just makes it so much more powerful. Um, three Cosmic Cyclones. I do like Twin Twister a lot now, so that would probably be this because I just think the PK deck is just too weak and um, I'd rather have something more powerful like Twin versus Shadal Schism, right? And probably would have been better. Two Lightning Storm, one Called By, one Imperial Order. Um, so that's the deck. Regardless of the deck choices I made, I don't think they cost me any games for this particular event. I think I did have a pretty smooth top 16, being that I played two Spell Strikers and this deck's favorite versus Spell Striker. But the finals was really rough with them both. I'm so mad about that misplay. But what are you going to do? I'm just going to get on to the next one and keep playing. Um, so yeah, I'll do another video tomorrow with just like an updated deck list because I feel like that would just be more explanatory. So enjoy that. Subscribe. Thank you.